nigga poppin' with a pocket full of cottage. Yeah. Whoa, chemo, stop it, chop up, aim it, get your like it. What's up guys, your boy Darshki and we are back with another video and today we're going to be going over the Blazing update now. I was up last night when the update dropped and everything like that, but there wasn't much going on so I went ahead and was just like, I'm not doing this right now. So anyways, uh, starting out we have the brand new Shisui Uchiha from, uh, he's uh, Blazing Fest. He's a skill type unit um, and I'll go ahead and go over all his uh you know everything so he's um you know uchiha and leaf affiliation 100 call skill type 1300 hp well 1372 hp uh 2440 attack long range he has a 2500 attack stat as a long range are you sure wait bro he does what the Alright, so that's kind of busted. Uh, reduces chance of chakra recovery ceiling by 30, 35%. Reduces chance of HP recovery ceiling 35%. Restores own chakra gods. And then his jutsu, right? For 5 chakra. Restores own chakra gods by 2. 3.6 times attack and skill damage to 1 enemy. For 6 turns, boost own attack by 50%. And for 2 turns, gives 20% chance to dodge. Now, this Shisui is actually busted. Like, you have too high of an attack stat, right? Like your attack stat is insanely high. Your multiplier is not super high, but that's because your jutsu gives you like four different things. Like it gives you chakra back, right? Uh, gives you an attack boost, gives you dodge. Like there's a lot of different stuff that goes into his jutsu. So, yeah. And then his ultimate, which is this is kind of stupid, because it's an 18 times multiplier for 10 chakra, but it's like 18 times multiplier to 2,500 damage. Like, it's, it's crazy. Uh, and skill damage to one enemy increases their damage received from disadvantage element by 20% for 8 turns. So, pretty much, if you hit a skill unit with this Jutsu, they're going to take more damage from body units. If you hit a body unit with this ultimate, uh, they're going to take more damage from skill units. So, pretty much, you give a 20% increase to damage from their type disadvantage for 8 turns, right? So, there's that. Then, going on to... Uh, no, nothing. Okay, so that, now going on to his PvP stats, right? Uh, thirty times, uh, thirty thousand HP, thirty nine hundred attack, two hundred seventy three speed. That's with no speed pills. So max speed is three hundred and three speed. Um, which I mean, it's not the worst thing ever, but eh. Um, then his abilities. Now this is where he gets a little. A little bit OP, you know what I'm saying? A little bit OP. His abilities. His first ability nullifies chakra reduction field effect. Which, I mean, eh, I mean, it's built for the raid, nothing crazy. But, anyways, going here, extends active ninjutsu effects by two turns. So, pretty much now he gets an attack boost for four turns. He gets dodge for four turns. Um,. No, he gets um, attack boost for eight turns. He gets dodge for four turns, right? Or his ultimate increases damage received from disadvantage elements um, for ten turns. So that's really, really good. This one gives you back two. Ch well, you start with additional two chakra, so you'll start the match with seven chakra. We so that's really good. So pretty much he can use his jutsu, and then his next turn have his jutsu again. So yeah. Then a uh, 20% chance to dodge, uh, boost attack by two times during combinations, and then 25% chance to dodge. So he has a 45% chance to dodge. This is giving him two times multiplier on his attacks. So pretty much if he combos with somebody, he's hitting them for 5,000 damage. So that's stupid. Um, and then in PvP, if he counters... I mean, if you combination, he hit somebody for 8,000. So that's really, this man is kind of busted. Sync skills. Uh, right here. Sync skills. Sync with leaf, boost attack by 200. Sync with Uchiha, nullify attack reduction. Sync with short and mid range, nullify chakra recovery ceiling. So nothing crazy. But overall, I think he's really good. Uh, I'm not going to summon for him. 
do I think you should sub him for him? I mean, Shisui is a fan favorite, so if you really like him, yes. If not, then I don't think it's worth it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys his uh, Jutsu and Ultimate Jutsu, which I've seen them already. They actually look really cool. I do like them. I, I have to say, I do like them. Boom, 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 boom. Come back. And then his Ultimate Jutsu. They look really cool. I do think they're mediocre, but I like them just because they, I don't know. I like them. So, anyways, we have that going on. Like I said, Blazing Fest, everything going on here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? First step, it's the same thing as usual. Three times up, 40 pros on the first one, 50 pros, you get one of those units guaranteed. 30 pros, six times up on this one, one unit guaranteed. Nine times up on this one, 30 pros, and then he's guaranteed on the last step. Nothing crazy. Uh, Minato's back for the bundle. What's this? Oh, we have Kabuto, Kaguya, Kisame, Jiraiya. And then we have the new one right here, which is Juzo Biwa. Um, I'll talk about that in a little bit. But yeah, I even did Kaguya on my JP account. So I'm actually about to get me hella pearls. Um, yeah, he's right here. He's nothing crazy. Body unit. Um, he's a mercy mission, by the way. Body unit. 1400 HP, 1500 attack, short range. Six. He goes to 512. I mean 510 chakra. Um, you know what I'm saying? Gives himself a boost on his Jutsu and ultimate. He's nothing crazy. Pretty cool unit. Uh, I would show you the Jutsus, but all it is is him swinging his sword. So nah. Um, the super impact for um, Kisame is coming soon. That's who you use Shisui on Kisame, by the way. I mean they could have just made a killer B, but whatever. Uh, Phantom Castle is um, Kurotsuchi, which she's 510 Chakra. Um, her abilities are nothing crazy. She's nothing crazy. I mean, I say get, I, I say get one, simply because um, you know it's free Phantom Castle. But overall, she's just nothing crazy. Uh, the Aruka mission is back out. Wherever you can, um, you get like what speed pills and a pearl. Right? Am I correct? No, you just get you just get um now you just get a pro every day and then you get like those drops. So yeah, but that's out. Uh the Jizu Biwa mission is actually out right now too, which is really good. Like I I'm glad that these two are out. He's gonna be out for 14 days. But yeah, I haven't did Kagia, so I do need to grind her. I do need to grind Kisame on global for um ultimate. I do need to get him ultimate on global. So there is that. Um, let me make sure that's it. As far as everything, there's a skill campaign, obviously. Sorry, I'm on uh, Twitter looking to make sure everything, everything's, we got everything. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much everything. All right, so now we're on global. We're gonna go ahead and go over what's on global just really quickly because there's nothing new, but you know, we still gotta do it. So, um, yeah. Uh, pretty much nothing going on here, obviously. I don't even know what banners are out low key. Uh, we still have the Obito banner out, right? Yeah, Obito banner's still out. You can get this Obito, which I do not care about at all. Uh, Blazing Bash is still out. So that's it for that. Go to notice. Oh yeah, the uh, PvP period is uh, over, man. I I, I, could, I couldn't be asked to grind it. I apologize. I low key do need to grind this Naruto, man. Oof. Uh, he's coming. Phantom Castle coming soon. I might grind that Naruto. I, I might actually do that because I do need to grind Naruto. I don't have him, and I did want to ultimate all the body units. <laughs> But it's just so much work, guys. Like, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I might grind it on the weekend because we have the bonus going on. But I don't know. Um, yeah, Ninja Road is still here. Uh, well, no, Ninja Road is here, not still here. Um, and along with it, we have Kuro. Kuro. We have Shizune, who I, I need to ultimate her. 
because this Shizune is insane, right? She's healing 400 a turn. She gets 400 health boost. Then um, her field and buddy skill are healing. Uh, her first Jutsu heals um, 1,000 for 5 turns. It says 800 because she's 5 star. But it heals 1,000 for 5 turns of so 5,000 damage. 5,000. And then her ultimate gives you slip damage uh, resistance, which is kind of cool, but it's whatever. Wait. Yeah, so that's really, really good. This Shizune is actually OP. Like, she is low-key a must-buy. You, you should definitely grind for her if you have not or won't. Or what? If you have not already or if you weren't planning on it, you should grind for her. She's actually insane. If we go look at my Wisdom team, right? My, my Wisdom team almost has everything it needs. And with her, it's complete. Right? With, with this team, it is complete. So, here's my wisdom team. Um, it literally has everything, right? The only thing it doesn't have is like, because I have a burst healer, which is pretty cool. I have a passive healer, but they don't do a lot of healing. And like this moderate heals 100 a turn, which is cool, but he's really outdated. I'm going to go ahead and put Shizune right there. And that's going to be my wisdom team. Hell, with Shizune there, I might take one of these two units or both of these units out for another wisdom unit. But yeah, so uh, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, comment down below, tell me what you guys think, comment, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.